Hello, welcome back to Founding Core Plays Factorio C Block. So I bumped a lot of this up, the production of this. I got these rolling as fast as possible, but the belt just can't keep up. I, I mean, we're just filling it up as fast as we're producing it. And we're producing freaking wood pellets super fast into wood bricks and we're just not outputting enough charcoal fast enough and the problem is is I just need to add more electric furnaces so let's go down and oh shoot no stop doing that this is what I was afraid of was running out of this I hate shutting that off. Did it show that I just was like... It did. Did y'all see that? Watch this. Right there puts you out of... It literally puts you out of logistics network. Huh. Interesting. Well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'll have to fix that another time. Where's my car? Let's go down to the minibus and let's start. getting electric furnaces being made on the bus but let's while I'm right here let me think about it real quick how does it it's just electronic circuit board stone brick and steel plate does that get upgraded to anything else or is that it like there are and it's also used for science packs which we have assembly machine mark twos on the bus too not really on the bus, actually. I just have it being made. I didn't even think about that. Hmm. Hmm. I might just make a separate thing just for science on that. But I do want to make electric furnaces. So I'm going to try to make that somewhere further over. Uh, let me check on something real quick too, real fast. Iron is backing up. I don't know if y'all can believe that, but we actually have iron backing up. Oh, we did. Never mind. I stand corrected. I thought we did have it backing up. All right, hold on for a second. Let me bump this up because oh, I don't have any power lines. Crap. Do I have any in my car? I don't. All right. I'll come back to deal with this. But that's why we're having such a... Backlog on the others. Nope, that's there. What about right here? Hmm. 
I don't know, I'll have to look. Apparently I messed up in a couple of places. And I had one time, I did question, I was like, something seems off when it came to where I put the RoboPorts, but there it is. It wasn't there, but it was the far left side. Crap. Okay, we're full on all that stuff. So, what I'm thinking is where we have the blue circuit boards. I'm kind of thinking about adding... Kind of thinking about adding... I need to fill that in. I got tons of landfill. So I was thinking about adding it down here. I need to get these power lines working. What are these, Mark 3s? I need those. Uh, the Mark 2s, you can have those. Mark 3s, you can give me those. I don't really use substations. I should. But generally, I've always used them for like... Uh, solar panels. Alright, what are we lacking on this? Iron pole, or iron rods, steel plates. Same thing for this. So I guess steel plate was going to be put on here, and iron rods would be put right here. What did this need? Ah, okie dokie, I got it. Do I have any... I already threw all that in here, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Belts was another thing I was behind on. Thank you. Alright, let me go ahead and throw some of this down. Power lines, how far up do they go? And then... We've already got Mark 3s. So... Mark 4 for this is those. Ooh, that's a way far away. What about these? Nintanol is all we're lacking. So that's basically all it's going to be is that gilded copper wire and nitinol. Which nitinol will come up from the top. Let me verify one more time. Nitinol. Electronic processing boards. How do I make those? All these in a CPU. Wait, I did put them on the bus, did I not? I did. Okay. Oh, wrong thing. Can, is it okay to shift all this over one? Oh shoot, that was fine where it was at. Alright, so that's good. And the reason I did that is because I want this to come down like that. And these to be placed on both sides of the belt. Because we will need them. 
And how many did this need of those? Two? Yeah, I'd rather be that much. Uh huh. Alright, well, I guess we're going to be working on fixing some of my mess ups here, real quick. So, this needs two integrated s electronics, total of five inputs. So, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five. So, okay, we've already got integrated electronics there. Okay, I didn't screw up. So. We got this and integrated electronics on one belt. So I guess the transistors was going to be this. And then basic electronic components and solder was going to be on this. Okay. I kind of need to tie all this stuff in. But let's get power lines being made because... Man, that's been a stressful thing. What all do we need down here again? Iron poles, steel plate, that I know. But what about for Mark II? Ten copper wire brass plate. Alright, well here's still... I hate that it doesn't do the underground belt. That makes no sense. It does it for other things, but it won't do it for this. Alright, there's still plate. Still plate was two. So that's going to come in right here. Ah, that would be right, so it would go from here to there. I mean, we could... to give us one more red belt back, we can just extend it all the way that it can be. And that only needs, what, two steel plate? And this needs... A maximum of 10 and this holds seven and a half per side so yeah that should be more than enough but this is going to be what basically 15 items total seven and a half each side but if I take half of that then it's going to be seven and a half so that means I need to upgrade this belt to at least at least a yellow which will uh, do that later all right then we need iron rods so let's go see if we got that rolling already down here or if I need to bring it down here we already have it down here now, we're going to have to be careful because, as you see, we've already got stuff going off to the left side. That's why you generally only want to manufacture stuff on one side. So, we should be good since there's nothing going to be right here. Let's shrink this down. Mm. I'm going to say let's do it on the upper part. So that would run like right here. 
Now we gotta watch out if you look on the map down to my left there is worms let's see if they'll hit us and they will alright so that's gonna be an issue already can't hit them from right here so let's see if we can hit them from this island we can Nope, can't hit those. Where would be the best to try to hit them at? Like right in here. Something like this. There we go. Alright. They're taken care of, so I don't have to worry about getting ambushed. Alright, let's take a minute, and we're almost there. Which is right here. And they needed four. So far, so good. Hmm, I don't want to throw down just any of them. Alright, so that's where it goes at. This splitter will come down right here. Now I shoved a bunch of the extra basic underground belt in the chest, so there should be tons to give me. Oh. And I'm out. Well, hopefully they'll be bringing them my way. Pretty soon. I'm gonna throw a power line, not power line, a light right out here. We already got lights right here, got lights right there. And then, let me throw some power lines right here. I need two more of those chests. We'll just throw them down for right now. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. This is outputting the power power lines to here. Okay, so this belt is just going to be the electronic circuit boards. That one needs five, and this one needs five. Okay. Well, that explains what that was. Uh. Oh, yeah, there's no steel. Uh-huh. Yeah. Alright, well, we should be good. They're moving. I forgot I had that on still. My car is throwing me off. Oh, there we go. That'll get us our rods, which will create us our basic power lines. I still got to get steel being made. I don't know what's going on with that. I'll deal with all that off camera. Actually, let's move these to right here because that's where they're going to be at and that's where they're going to output at because eventually they're just going to output right here. Uh, yeah. So this is going to need titanium plate and insulated wire. Now, I want insulated wire to be on its own belt. Which it looks like for me to do that. I don't need Mark II's. Thanks, but no thanks. You can have all those. So this is what I'm thinking. Insulated wire here, and then we just have titanium plate come in right here. Then what we'll do with this, let's go like that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. While I'm standing here, let's just throw that down so that... Uh, I hope to God... No, let me just do it like this. I'll throw it out over that way. Because I don't want them running all the way down here getting shot up by worms.
I should have known that was coming. Oh, I got silicon ingots. Not a big deal. Moving the power lines. Eh, yeah, well... Go right here. And put there. And put there. I gotta pick all this up anyway, because... This is gonna need to come down right there. Just go ahead and move all this stuff. Go ahead and fix all this. Okay. So they're going to output right here. That'll input. There's Mark II's. Twos. Okay. So this is going to be our insulated wire, which they all need. Okay, never mind. It's not going to be insulated wire because this needs 10 titanium plate. Well, hmm... I guess it really doesn't matter. Actually, it would probably be better for insulated wire to be here and titanium here. One, because it moves it down and makes it put more on the belt. Well, shit. That ain't gonna work. Well, no, it'll work. It'll work. It'll just have to go like that. Then this will go right here. And then this can output right there. It'll still work. Okay, there we go. Let's make sure we put a max on this, or a cap. I don't want a whole crap ton. And then... That'll go right there. So, we can just jump over jump over All right, so that's in that that'll be our insulated wire. This will be our titanium plate which it's going to need 10 of them. And then now all we're lacking is electronic logic boards. Which you could do the same thing for the opposite. We'll output these down like that. Which this will get eventually replaced with belts running down instead of a, a chest and then these inserters won't be here
Nice. Good job, robots. Good job. And... Hmm. Okay, let's look at what the next tier is going to be. Which we can't make. Let's see if we can look at it either through here, if not, real quick. Alright. That's just going to take too long to sort through. Uh, let's go with the substation mark 4 because it's going to have more... It's going to need more resources than anything else. So if you look right here, this is only going to need gilded copper wire and knit and all. This, on the other hand, is going to need the processing boards, gilded copper wire, and knit and all. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> That's a good point. Hmm. We're not going to be making those right now because we don't have the science. As you can see, I can't make CPUs because they're backed behind this science, which requires those. All right. Well, let's go back. I want to go back to what we initially were going to do. Now, I needed to make electric furnaces. Which Mark II's are used making logic boards and tungsten and Envar, which I already have these two on the belt, on the bus. Tungsten will just be added later. That's not going to be a big deal. What about Mark III's? Mark III's are going to need electronic processing boards and copper tungsten plate and tungsten carbide, which all that will be made up top too. At least I hope. Yeah, okay, that'll be easy. What about copper tungsten? Copper powder? and That'll be easy. So yeah, all that we'll just make up top. So... So the gist of what I'm saying is this. The Mark IVs of these, well, at least this one, this is going to need, which is a substation Mark IV. The Mark IV is going to need the higher up circuit boards. The Mark IV will just need knit and all and the gilded is it called gilded copper wire or whatever? Oh no. No, not this. The power lines, come on. Yes, gilded copper wire. Which I already have, that's not an issue. Um... So what I'm thinking, and this is what I'm rolling with right now. So we'll just add all these in a chest, but we'll put on a on the belt, on the bus, whatever. All right, we'll put them on the bus, whatever. Boom, done. All right. And then, whenever it comes to the Mark IV, we'll add those to the Mark IV. Now, let's go with the... Uh, where's it at? Electric Furnace. Which it takes five seconds to make. 
Oh, did I make one? Oh, I can actually make electric furnaces. Oh, cool. Not that I didn't... Not that I doubted it, it just... There. And let me throw that back down there. Okay, so... We'll add these to the bus. I don't know where this needs to go at exactly. So this is the first of it. So this will need to come down. Then this. Then this. So we might as well scoot this over. And then what it needs is 10 stone brick, 10 steel plate, and 5 electronic circuit boards. So I want to check something. So let's say we're making it. Can I use this in it? I cannot. Okay. Well, I can speed it up, make it faster, which is 5 seconds at a crafting speed of one. Which I didn't even bring uh, pull up my spreadsheet, but I'll just do the math real, real quick. But I'm pretty sure it's like two and a half seconds. So yeah, easy math, just rather be right than wrong. So we make one every two and a half seconds. Which means this would need to be, if I combine stone brick and steel plate together, it's going to need to be a yellow belt. Not a big deal because we're not going to be making, we're not going to have like needing 50 of them per second. So having this as an assembly mark 4 is going to be fine. I can always speed it up if I need to. So we'll have a yellow belt. That would be stone brick and steel plate. And then all we need is electronic circuit boards, which is not a big deal. It can just run right in like that. Boom, we're done. And that's just with an electric furnace mark one. And then well, actually, no, I stand corrected. We will want a lot of it being made. Because of science. So I better rethink this. Mm, this will be just five. So we can go like this. And then this can output right here which is fine. Can I make another chest? Yes. Which we'll put right here. Boom, done. All right, let's look at power lines. Still not terrible. But I'd rather move this move this over. Just to give a little bit more room. So it's gonna need to pick up twenty items within two and a half seconds. So each one can pick up three items a second. So three, six, 12, 18. 18 plus what? Two and a half seconds. So an item and a half. Three items every second. So an item and a half within half a second. So that's 
three items, four and a half items. So that should be plenty, more than enough to, to handle that. Then it's just five every two and a half, so that's more than enough. And then outputting there. Actually, shoot. Okay, now there we go. And then that'll get us to where we can do our science. Because our science, if we look... Oh, there it is. Went too far. I do have flying robot frames. But the science is just electric furnaces, the summing machine Mark IIs, and chemical plant Mark Ones, Which I have pretty much all three of those going to be able to be made. Make sure I capped all these. Okay. We're just lacking still. And what do we need to make this? I have a little bit. I don't have any stone brick. Be alright. So the point, what I need for those is... Thank you. Is the fact that we need to speed up our production on charcoal. And what's holding us back is not having electric furnaces. I can handcraft them all, but that would just be pointless. So that over there is being made. Let me add these in there. And let me add those in there. Because I don't need them. And... Alright, so we need to get some of the other stuff brought down here. Alright, so we need to look at where on the bus that needs to be added. I, would, I left the car there as kind of a marker where we need to be at. It's actually all the way down here. So, this we decided to be, and this will be for titanium. And this stuff you want to use a lot of because, uh, what is it, ethane and butane we make so much of. There's the car. Yep, we're almost there. Now this can go right here, which will come right there. So I want the robots to come down here and do all this for me. Because I don't want to use my underground belt. Oh. They don't need to go that far. We're still lacking the brass plate and 10 copper wire. Let's get that down here. Titanium. 
that'll be easy. So brass plate and tin copper wire. Let's get that rolling. And let's make sure our, worm, our worms are not going to hit us right here because our robots are going to be right here. Okay, I don't see that happening. Good. So brass plate, tin copper wire. So brass plate should be over here. That's tin plate. That is bronze. We need brass. Brass should be right here beside it. Oh, sorry. Come on, robots. Come on. Come on, where's tin copper wire? Ah, crap. I'll just leave those there. They're gonna need to be there anyway. Yep. Here we are. There's tin copper wire, but let's still locate brass. Oop. And there we are. Let's make sure. Okay, that's connected. Thank you, robots. I hope the issue isn't because I'm backed up on iron why we're not producing any steel. If that's the case, I'm going to have to go solve that real quick. Which I am by putting all these down. <laughs> ah. You know what? I'm going to do something to make my life easier. I'm not gonna do it. I know. I know it's tempting, but I'm not. Oh, I ran out. I gotta get back to making the better uh, repair packs. I also need to go grab more landfill. Can't tell if that's bronze or brass. Okay, it's bronze. For some reason, it kind of looked like brass for, for a second.
There we go. And then I'm just going to use the rest of my landfill to fill this in. Then we need, wait, which is which? They're the same. So right here. Well, if that's the case, we might as well do that. Um, let's look at resources first. Uh, brass is copper and something. I can't remember. Copper and zinc or copper 10 zinc. Ooh, that would be good. So I think I'd rather use or have brass, which is this being the longest. to go there and then ten copper wire could go there reason being is because I can get more resources being used out of doing that then I will using just 10 because now we're going to be using zinc copper and 10 a way a lot more on this what was this oh this was the electronic circuit boards mm, that's something pretty far away we'll deal with in a minute let's go get the car Look at the robots go. Love it. I am going. Did I pass my car? Oh, come on. Where's my car? Oh, it's way up there. Oh, yeah, because I had to get off. My, I had to get out of the car to be able to put the landfill down. Which that's what I'm going to do whenever off camera I'm going to come and fill all this in. Probably be after this episode. I'll probably go and do all that real quick. Are y'all coming to me or? Yeah. Thank you. So it, everything's been working with... Um, making straight iron and silicon the only downside is is it's it's been constantly a balancing act there's either been too much oxygen too much hydrogen or at one time there was not enough mineralized water as you can see right now like it was just constantly it's constantly something I mean, I literally got rid of all those tanks that had the mineralized water in it. All gone. Um, titanium. That's what I was going to work on. It's titanium. Oh, it's right here. Never mind. And then, where was the titanium coming in at? right here is is that right uh this is needing five every one second i 
I just realized it doesn't need a splitter. This needs five every one second. This needs five every one second. Uh, uh huh. I need to get a red red inserter. What am I lacking? Basic electronic boards? Are you serious? I don't have any electronic boards on me. Let's see if I can request them. Uh, come on. Here it is. Yeah! Sweet. 30. Awesome. Oh, thank you. And then how much does this need of... This will be titanium. 10 every half second. Or half second, one second. So three, six. I need a red insert or two. Darn. Okay. Well, titanium is right here. Splitter right here. Boom. Okay, that should be all the resources for those. The only thing I'm lacking is the... The electronic circuit boards for that. Oh, oh, that's right. This needs uh, electronics. Uh, not electronic. The electronic logic boards. So that's one. Two. And this just needs five. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm thinking about adding it in right here. But that won't work. What I'm thinking about is maybe having it come down here. No, that's still going to be right. And doing something like that. Or... I could do red underground belts like that. I may just do that. That I mean it's it's kind of dumb, but at the same time there. And this needs how many Five, so yeah, we'll just leave it as that. Okay, so now we just need to get the 
electronic circuit boards tied in right there. It's going to go right here. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, come on. There we go. Now, I don't know how far to go, so I'm just going to kind of get a pretty good distance over here. Oh, there it is, right there. I want to make sure this is correct before I commit all the way on it. If that makes sense. All right, there we go. Now all I gotta do is get still running, and then we should be good. Thank you. Now let's come over here and tie this in. It needs only five. Mmm. I'm going to cut it in half again because it only needs five. And I'm not going to be going through them like crazy, so we'll just do that. All right, so that gets us all that. Now let's crap, let's get it set up. I hate you, robots. I hate when they do that. I think it's off right now. Yeah, it's off. All right, so for this, we need stone brick and steel is going to go right here, which would make the most sense anyway. Don't think I have to go too far for steel. Well, I'm going to have to end the episode here. When we come back, we'll have our electric furnaces going. Or hopefully, i, I got to get the uh, still worked out. But um, I'm also going to landfill all the stuff in. So that'll look so much nicer with it all done. But uh, if you enjoyed watching, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I don't say that really often because... Most people obviously know to do that if they, you know, if they like what they're watching. But anyways, I hope y'all have a good day and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.